What's up guys? Uh, Felipe here. Uh, just outside the gym, getting ready to... I just came here to film uh, a how-to video. It's gonna be for the legs. Uh, so I'm gonna do that tonight. But, um, <clears throat> you're gonna... You, that's actually the next video I'm gonna upload. So you're gonna see that video before you see this uh, one right here. But right now it's 120. And that noise right now is just my... Uh, just my heater because you know it's the first week of January kind of cold but uh yeah it's 120 pretty late I usually don't well I never come this late I usually come like 11 or 11 30 or something <clears throat> but um I was gonna do that and then I remembered that I needed to uh charge the camera here so I waited a couple hours before I left so yeah I'm here pretty late, but uh, I'm here now, so that's good. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> film that video, and then I'll leave, and then I'll go home. I'll edit that as well. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, also, just to kind of keep you guys updated with my work life, of course, as you know, uh, New Year's was just last week. And so here or at the gym... Uh, Gold's Gym, well, which is Boston now. We have the New Year's Rush, which means everybody has their resolutions planned. And, or at least, they have resolutions, and they're gonna lose a bunch of weight, or whatever it is. Anyways, everybody's in the gym, so it's super packed all the time. And the other sucky thing about that, though, is that since we changed from Gold's to Vasa Fitness, they're remodeling the entire gym. So, equipment everywhere which makes it even more cramped in the gym. So that kind of sucks. But uh, makes it makes it kind of hard to uh, get a workout in uh, for my clients and also for me. But it is what it is. It's gonna be like that for the next two months. And then most of those people, unfortunately, are gonna give up on their New Year's resolutions. But um, that's just how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. You know, one thing I do have to say about that though is <clears throat> You know, these people make New Year's resolutions, and that's, that's cool, I guess. Um, and if we're talking about fitness, obviously it's, I want to lose weight, or I want to gain muscle, or whatever it is. You know, these people come up with these crazy resolutions. These people that aren't familiar with the gym, uh, aren't familiar with working out, or really keeping a routine. And so they go and make these crazy resolutions, you know, you want to lose 100 pounds. Um, but I'm just barely starting the gym, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna lose 100 pounds anyways. Uh, guess what? That's probably not gonna happen, and you're most likely going to give up in a couple months. That's just, that's just science. <clears throat> um, unfortunately. Although there are those exceptions, you know, of the people that really stick to it and actually reach their goals, which is great. But, um, I wish more people would make more attainable goals you know smaller short-term goals that lead up to this large goal losing a hundred pounds is great but there are steps to getting to that point and if you make a giant goal of losing a hundred pounds you're forgetting all those steps that it's gonna take and then you tend to forget about how much time it's going to take to reach that large goal and because of that most people including myself, get, <coughs> whoa, sorry, uh, get frustrated with how much time it actually takes to reach these goals. That's why it's better to make shorter goals. So you're hitting your goals more frequently, therefore your motivation levels are up a little more frequently. So I wish more people would do that and realize that. And that just doesn't go for the gym, but really life in general. Um, if you make smaller goals, you're, a lot more likely to reach those bigger ones that you have. Um, so, if you take anything from any of my videos, this is gonna be it. Make small goals before you reach those big ones, before you make those big ones, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm headed inside, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, just headed uh, to work right now. Uh, it's about it's about 5:21, 
and it is raining quite a bit outside not not very hard just a lot uh, snowing slightly but it's probably as much snow as we've ever gotten here in Utah this year but um, <clears throat> anyways yeah I'm heading to work uh, we'll see how the parking lot looks because well first of all today's Monday so it's always busy on Mondays and the other reason is because it's also right after New Year's so everybody of course has their New Year's resolutions so they're gonna be in the gym for that so usually Monday through Thursday evenings the parking lot's just packed and I have to park all the way on the other side of the uh, parking complex or the uh, shopping complex where the gym is over by what is it oh over by the Dairy Queen so well that's probably what I'm gonna have to do today uh, <coughs> sorry. but yeah that's about it so yeah work uh, things are getting a lot busier for me so that's good and then I'm gonna work out tonight today or tonight is a push day for me so chest triceps and shoulders so we'll we'll see how that goes but I'll, sh I'll show you what the parking lot looks like when I get there here we go so yeah um, actually it doesn't look that bad actually it kind of does but <laughs> um, so yeah I probably have to find out oh no no there's a spot of shit my hand um, Oh, there's a spot right here. Pretty nice. So it looks like... Oops, let me turn this around. Looks like I was able to find a spot, which is crazy. Uh, given it's Monday night, and it's really close to the gym, so that's cool. Didn't have to park by Dairy Queen, so that's nice. But Alright, what's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> I am headed to my uh, haircut appointment. I have it at 3 o'clock and it's 2.40 right now, so gotta head down there. It'll only take me like 10 minutes to get there. But I'm gonna do that because my hair is getting a little, uh, just, uh, just stupid. I don't know. Uh, it's too long on the sides. It's, uh, it just looks weird. So I'm gonna get it shaved on, uh, shaved on the sides down to like a 4 and maybe trim it a little on the top and that's about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, and then I've got work tonight, and then tonight's also a back day, so I'm gonna probably get some footage of that over at any time, so that's, that's what I'm up to, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so here's the place where I get my hair cut. I am just about on time. It's almost 3 o'clock. But uh, it's a nice little place. The lady that cuts my hair does a great job. So, and somehow I know her husband. I went to junior high with him, and we we're actually really good friends back then. Kind of lost touch after that, but uh, he's a good guy. Anyways, 